Welcome to Discover the Villages with Jana Raver. Last week, the British Invasion Car Show was at Lake Sumter Landing, and it was really well attended. And I tell you what, cameraman, of course, loved it. Take a look. We just arrived at Sumter Landing, and tonight they're having the British Invasion Car Show and the hooligans are playing and they play British music. So excited, look how busy it is. Let's go have a look around. This is an Austin Healy Sprite, but it's also known as a frog-eyed Sprite. There's a whole street of MGs, both sides. It's amazing. I'm going to go have my photo taken with none other than James Bond. How are you, young lady? Dr. No. He's got, he's got quite the setup over yeah, there. Yeah, he does. And we finished off the British connection with the bagpipers. <laughs> that was so much fun. I lost cameraman for about an hour while he was looking at all the cars. <laughs> These events just keep getting better and better, and I never dreamed that I would meet James Bond. <laughs> Let's get right into the first question, which is, tell me three things I should do to sell my home. The three most important things you can do is, number one, price it right. And in order to do this, you need to have a realtor do this for you because you can't go by what your neighbor down the street sold theirs for because it may not be apples to apples and as time goes on our market changes so you've got to price it let a professional do that for you and number two is be patient our market has changed in that you know six months ago houses were on the market three minutes now they're taking 60, sometimes 90 days to get sold. So don't get impatient and you know do drastic things. And number three is get your home ready to sell. And by this I mean clutter, get rid of it, anything that's laying around that doesn't need to be or makes the room look smaller with too much furniture, things like that, even if you have to spend some money. Uh, power wash if you have um, dirt outside make sure everything is appealing and you'll get your money back and maybe even more sounds easy doesn't it it is when you're guided by an experienced realtor like myself 
Now, let's get on with the MLS stats from November the 14th through the 21st. This week we had 34 solds, and last week we had 17. Pendings this week, we had 43. Last week, 25. New listings, 46. Last week, we had 30. And price reductions this week, 48 versus 37 last week. Remember I told you last week that uh, bad weather plays a big part in our market, and that's exactly what happened. You can see that our numbers are back to normal. Available homes on the market last week were 255, and this week we have 263. And that leads us into the next question, which is, what are the available homes priced at? And I did a breakdown. Under 300, we have 26, and that's 10% of our inventory. Now, 300 to 350, we had 50, and 350 to 400, we had 40. Normally, I would put those all together, but I priced them separately so you could see better, and that is 34%. From four to 500, we had 74 homes, and that's 28% of our inventory. Five to six are 32, which is 12%. Six to seven, we have 15, which is 6%. 700 to 800,000, we have eight, which is 3%. 800 to 1 million, we have 10 homes listed, and that's 4% of our inventory. And over a million, we have eight, which is 3%. So that gives you an idea of where the homes are that are on the market. So when you um, realize what your budget is, this should be helpful in determining how many homes you have to choose from. If you're in the most popular amount, which is three to 400, you've got 90 homes. A little something different for you. We are at Kane Garden Country Club. We're having breakfast. I wanted to come last night at dinner, but worked to almost nine o'clock, so that was out. So we decided to come this morning. I ordered a mimosa, which is wonderful. The menu has got tons of really good looking things on it. I ordered the uh, veggie omelet, and cameraman ordered eggs benedict florentine. So we'll let you know when they come out. There's a lovely area outside to eat as well. It's a little chilly for me today to want to sit outside, but... food has just arrived and my veggie omelet looks full of goodies, paid potatoes and sardo toast. I'm excited. Cameraman's Benedict looks very nice. Got I see spinach and a hollandaise sauce it looks like. I'm going to take a bite of Cameraman's Benedict. Mmm. I love how creamy that sauce is. That is wonderful. I'm gonna try my omelet. I like hot sauce on my omelet. Full of crunchy veggies. It is really good. That is fabulous. There's big pieces of spinach and all kinds of crunchy vegetables. Very, very tasty. 
cameraman's really enjoying his. His, the Florentine, is an English muffin with poached eggs, hollandaise sauce, tomato, and spinach, and it's served with home fries. It's really good. I thoroughly enjoyed my breakfast. Um, it was a lot of food. The menu is got something for everyone. I mean, there's five different kinds of omelets, four different Benedicts, and all kinds of special pancakes and sandwiches. And uh, let's see how a cameraman enjoyed his. I think he loved it. <laughs> I would highly recommend Cane Garden Country Club for breakfast, and the service couldn't be any better. My mimosa was wonderful. The coffee came out um, very fresh and hot, and our service was great. I have to give this a 10, and we'll see what cameraman gives this. my new favorite breakfast place. This is such a lovely area and it's always been one of my favorite places to come. I love the decor, the service is good, and the food is wonderful. The nice family that was sat outside gave very complimentary remarks about the food, but cameraman forgot to turn the microphone on so sorry about that and I guess we're not going to see that in the bloopers either and now it's time for house of the week I'm here at 5926 Rutland Avenue in the village of Finney and this is a beautiful Monroe it is a veranda home which is very similar to a begonia, but it's got a fenced yard, just like a courtyard villa. So it was built in 2018, and it is listed at 525. Nice screened in front. I love this floor. It looks like stone. There's nice luxury vinyl plank flooring, and the kitchen is over here. We've got nice brown cabinetry, high definition countertops, nice. all rub bronze faucet, and we have gas cooking. Very nice. The cabinets have pull outs. Oh, that's a big, big tall one. I like that. Seems like I always have big tall pots that I can't get in the cabinets. This is lots of space here. Room for a breakfast table. And uh, you have really nice stainless steel refrigerator as well as dishwasher. There's really lots of room in here. And it's super open to the dining room and living room. No columns here, like there are in the begonia and gardenia model. Tall ceilings. Just off the kitchen is the laundry room, and you've got a sink there and cabinetry. And out here is a two-car garage plus golf cart garage with ample space. And this is right across from the master bedroom. This is very spacious. And I forgot to mention the plantation shutters are throughout. This has a tray ceiling. And through here is his and her closet. Here you've got tall, tall cabinets, plenty of shelving, and dual vanities. Lots of drawers, and this would be mine, of course. Ooh, what a nice Roman shower. Okay. 
Here's my favorite area. Oh gosh, this, this floor is just like the floor at the entrance, but it looks even better here, I think, because there's more of it. This is great. Good size lanai. You have an area there for uh, TV, electrical, and you have more electric over here. And this area is fenced in. I really like the unique shape of the patio. And you've got plenty of yard here on this side and it wraps all the way around over here. Good size yard. And it is so quiet and peaceful out here. I can't hear a thing. And one of my favorite features, the pocket door, which makes this a very private guest area. And you have a, a guest room here, another up front with a bathroom in between and a linen closet. To sum up this model, it is a Monroe, which is a veranda home that is basically just like a begonia. 1918 square feet. It was built in 2018. All the flooring is luxury vinyl plank except the two guest rooms. And it has the private area, high definition laminate countertops, beautiful stainless steel and gas cooking. And this is offered at 525 and there is a bond. If you'd like any information about this property or any other, you can call, text, or email me. I'd love to help you. If you're watching this on the first day that it comes out, I want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. And if you're watching it after that, I hope you had a very nice Thanksgiving. And I want to remind cameraman that the day after Thanksgiving is my birthday. And something very special is happening on, uh, happening on that day. Um, England plays the USA in the World Cup. So that ought to be interesting since he's from England and I'm from USA. So I want to uh, thank everyone for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit that like button. And we've got lots of things coming up since the holidays are coming on. And I'm excited about sharing all of it with you. Until next time, bye. Is this supposed to be this close to me? We've just arrived at Lake Sumter Landing and tonight is the British Invasion car show and also the hooligans <laughs> that sing British music. But cameraman forgot to have sound on. So, sorry about that. But I guess we won't be seeing that in the bloopers either.